Beneath these tranquil waters lie secrets waiting to be awakened. As dawn breaks, a veil of fog unfurls over the Great Lakes, the largest freshwater system on Earth. Here, in these still deep waters, history is preserved and the past lives on. Shrouded in mystery and wrapped in whispers of the past, ghost ships emerge from the depths, their stories etched in the fabric of time. Join us as we unveil the ghost ships of the Great Lakes, vessels lost in time, but not forgotten. The Great Lakes, a significant part of history, commerce and maritime mysteries. These vast bodies of water, interconnected and sprawling across a great expanse of North America, have served as arteries of trade, transport and travel. They've been the lifeline of countless communities, the backdrop of many a tale, and the final resting place for many a mariner. From the early days of fur trading to the industrial boom, these lakes have borne witness to the rise and fall of empires, the birth of nations, and the relentless march of progress. But beneath their serene surface, a different narrative unfolds, a narrative of lost vessels and vanished crews, a narrative of ghost ships. Shipwrecks have always held a strange allure, they're a tangible link to our past, a frozen moment in time when the unstoppable force of nature met the immovable object of human ambition. In the Great Lakes alone, over 6,000 shipwrecks lie hidden beneath the waves. Each one a story waiting to be told, each one a secret waiting to be uncovered. Take for instance the tale of the SS Edmund Fitzgerald, an American Great Lakes freighter that sank in a Lake Superior storm on November 10, 1975, with the loss of the entire crew of 29, or the story of the schooner Thomas Hume, which disappeared without a trace in 1891, while returning from a lumber hauling trip, leaving seven crew members lost to the depths. These are not just tales of tragedy, but also of mystery and intrigue. What caused these mighty vessels to sink? What happened to their crews? And why do some say they've seen these ships long lost to the depths, sailing once again on foggy nights? With over 6,000 shipwrecks, these waters are a tomb to maritime mysteries. But they are also a treasure trove of tales, a chronicle of human courage and folly, a testament to our ceaseless quest to conquer the elements. And as we delve deeper into the ghost ships of the Great Lakes, we awaken not just the legends of the past, but also the spirit of adventure that drives us to explore the unknown. The lakes harbor stories that only the bravest dare to uncover. In the depths of these majestic waters, divers and historians have braved the unknown to piece together the haunting tales of the ghost ships. Their first-hand accounts are as chilling as the icy waters they've plunged into, and as captivating as the hidden treasures they've discovered. Take George, an experienced diver and maritime historian, he recounts his encounter with a shipwreck from the late 19th century, its wooden hull perfectly preserved by the cold, oxygen-poor waters. As he glided through the water, the ghost ship's mast loomed out of the murk like a spectral sentinel. He describes the surreal sensation of swimming through the ship's cabins, still furnished with possessions of a long-gone crew, their personal effects frozen in time. Then there's Linda, a marine archaeologist, who tells of her encounter with the wreck of a steamship. It went down in a storm in the early 20th century, and its remains are scattered across the lake bed. Linda speaks of the eerie calm that pervades the site, the silence broken only by the distant calls of lake creatures and the sound of her own breathing. As she sifted through the debris, she came across a ship's bell, its surface encrusted with zebra mussels, but its inscription still readable. The name of the ship sent a shiver down her spine, as she realized she was swimming above the final resting place of a ship whose story she'd heard since childhood. These personal accounts are punctuated with tales of the inexplicable. Divers who felt a sudden drop in temperature, a sign some say of a ghostly presence, or those who've experienced the sensation of being watched, or even touched, as they explored the shadowy wrecks. Divers speak of sudden chills and unseen hands guiding them through the water. And then there are the ghostly encounters. Take the story of the schooner that appears on moonlit nights, its sails billowing, gliding silently over the water before vanishing into the mist. 
or the phantom crew members spotted on the decks of sunken ships, their ghostly figures illuminated by the diver's torchlight. These accounts have been passed down through generations, each diver adding their own experience to the rich tapestry of tales. Their stories create a vivid picture of the past, of the lives lost, and the vessels that went down with them. They bring to life the history that lies beneath the surface, adding color and depth to the mysteries of the Great Lakes. But it's not just about the past. These stories also serve as a reminder of the dangers that still lurk below the waves. The unpredictable weather, the treacherous currents, the hidden sandbanks that can ensnare even the most experienced sailor. They serve as a warning to those who venture onto the lakes, a call to respect the power of these mighty waters. Divers speak of sudden chills and unseen hands guiding them through the water. These first-hand accounts, these voices from the depths, they are the lifeblood of the Great Lakes ghost ship lore. They are the whispers of history, the echoes of the past, the tales that keep the legend of the ghost ships alive. Yet, beneath the surface of these tales lies a scientific explanation. The Great Lakes, with their unique conditions, have become a timeless vault, preserving the remnants of countless shipwrecks. The waters are chillingly cold, with temperatures often dropping below freezing. This cold environment slows down the process of decay, preserving the wooden vessels and their cargo for centuries. But what about the ghost ships that have been spotted sailing on the surface? This, too, has a scientific basis. Imagine a bright sunny day, you're standing on the shore, and suddenly out of nowhere, a ship appears on the horizon, sailing against the sky. You blink, and it's gone. Can you trust your eyes? Optical illusions such as mirages are often responsible for these eerie sightings. These occur when light rays bend as they pass through air layers of different temperatures. This bending of light, or refraction, can make objects appear distorted, magnified, or even create images of objects that aren't there. In the case of the Great Lakes, the cold lake water cools the air above it. When this cold, dense air interacts with warmer, lighter air from the land, it creates a temperature gradient causing light to bend and refracting images of distant ships into the sky. To the observer, these ships appear to be ghostly apparitions floating above the water's surface. Furthermore, the lake's unpredictable weather patterns and sudden squalls have been known to engulf ships quickly, making them disappear from view. To onlookers, it may seem as if the vessel vanished into thin air, giving rise to tales of ghost ships. Science, however, does not diminish the allure and mystery of these tales. Instead, it offers a fascinating insight into how nature's play of elements and conditions can create phenomena that fuel our imagination and stir our sense of wonder. The eerie depths of the Great Lakes are a play of nature's illusions and time's preservation. These ghost ships are more than just vessels lost at sea. They are time capsules, silently speaking volumes about our past. Each shipwreck, each phantom vessel, tells a tale of courage, adversity, and the sheer unforgiving power of the Great Lakes. These lakes, serene yet mighty, have been the stage for countless stories, each one etched into the annals of history. They've witnessed the rise and fall of industries, the bloom of cities, and the ebb and flow of life. And beneath their tranquil surface, the ghost ships slumber, embodying these tales. Each ship, in its own unique way, is a testament to human ambition, to the indomitable spirit that drives us across uncharted waters. They remind us of the bravery of those who dared to navigate these unpredictable waters, of the countless souls who were claimed by the lake's depths. Each sunken vessel, each spectral ship, is a stark reminder of the lake's formidable power and the respect it commands. Yet these ghost ships also represent an enduring mystery, an unsolved riddle of the deep. Despite our advances in technology and our understanding of the lakes, these spectral vessels continue to mystify us. They appear and disappear, leaving us with more questions than answers. They are an enigma, a puzzle that may never be fully solved, a testament to the mysteries that the lakes still guard. The ghost ships of the Great Lakes are eternal voyagers, sailing on the ethereal seas of our collective memory. They continue their journey, not on the physical waters of the lakes, but in our stories, our folklore, our history. 
they serve as a poignant reminder of our past, a symbol of the lake's mighty power, and a beacon of the enduring mysteries that lie beneath the surface. These ghost ships sail on in our stories, a testament to the mystery and majesty of the Great Lakes. The Great Lakes invite you to uncover their secrets, plunge into their depths, seek out the echoes of the past, and let the whispers of the submerged guide your journey. Remember, as you explore, to honor the resting places of those lost at sea. Their stories are our history, their memories etched in the fabric of these waters. The stories of the Great Lakes and their ghost ships live on, whispered by the waves and echoed in the hearts of those who listen.